how to use a comma in lists, in dates, and in numbers. The word comma comes from the Greek gomma, which means a cut-off piece. The Greeks call chocolate chips gomatia socolatas. Comma, you'll notice. A comma shows where a sentence is cut, like a line down a chocolate bar, where you can break off a piece. The words immediately before the comma are less closely linked to those immediately after the comma. I can't believe it, but it must be true. Notice the links between the first set of words and the second. Here are three ways we use the comma. In lists, in dates, and in numbers. First, in lists. I bought a bottle of red wine, a block of cheese, and a baguette. Should we place a comma before the and? Well, a comma placed before the and can clarify the meaning of a sentence. For example, I invited the girls, Sam and Alex. This sentence means that I invited the girls, who are Sam and Alex. In other words, I invited two people. I invited the girls, Sam and Alex. On the other hand, consider the following sentence. I invited the girls, Sam and Alex. This sentence means that I invited the girls and Sam and Alex. In other words, I invited more than three people. Returning to our first example. We don't have to place the comma before the and because there is no potential for ambiguity. Now, how to use a comma in dates. He would never forget December 19th, 1941. Should we place a comma somewhere in the date? A comma placed before the year can help the reader avoid confusing consecutive numbers. He would never forget December 19th, 1941. The sentence is easier to read after we include a comma. On the other hand, you could also write the date without a comma. He would never forget 19th of December, 1941. Keeping the two numbers apart, divided by a word, also helps the reader. Finally, how to use a comma in numbers. There were two, there were 200. It takes a moment to read that number. It's actually 200,000. There were 200,000 balloons at the birthday party. Not exactly 2,000 there, but it's a start. Should we place a comma somewhere in the number? A comma placed between groups of three digits can help the reader understand the number more quickly. There were 200,000 balloons at the birthday party. Time to celebrate. You've learned three ways that we use commas. In lists, in dates, and in numbers. <laughs>